Say hello, ladies and gentlemen. Got ourselves a bit of rag today. Gonna go for a free hook flapper setup today. It's not a match situation, so I don't use a clip down rig usually. I use a flapper just, just for convenience, really. Bottom hook, usually put a worm on just for, you know, just in case you catch a flatty on. But these suckers can bite you and they do hurt sometimes. Just thread her on like that. If you don't have one, if you're not good at this, a baiting needle is advised. It took me ages to learn how to thread wares properly. But now snap off the back tail, let those juices flow in the water. That is imperative. Get the scent, get the scent out there. Get a bit of stone off. Top that one back up. See, even when they're in half, they're still right pain to thread on. Size two match hooks from Tony. Tony's tackling Eastbourne, my go-to guy. Right, we've got five ounce lead on. Not necessarily because the tide's bad, it's just uh, mostly just so when the fish hit it, they hook themselves half the time, nine times out of ten there. Let's go and see, let's go and see how far we can give her a cast as a drink after. Nice little lob. I think the bail off thinks so when I gave the power for it. can do that sometimes. So we can pretend kitchen bail off on the side. Amateur mistake. But we're still learning here, ladies and gentlemen, fish with Jack. Nothing perfect, but we will go on. Morning. Another beach. Another day with fishing with Jack. I think we've already got something on there. We're down Shoreham today. Lovely little venue. Nice sunshine here today. Let's see what we got today. First chuck, this is first chuck. Could be a flatty or a little pit wide. That's when you need to let the boy develop, ladies and gentlemen. Now, some baits, that's when you need to leave it out there. Let the pot develop. Water comes with fishing with Jack. Back here with fishing with Jack. Had a little knock on a couple of the rods. I'll put another rod here, put out the old Vex and the old Squatting too. We fish bait, pin white, and I've just caught, I forgot to film it. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, about that. That's my error there. But she's got to be a squid now. Hopefully, you might get a rake today. It's not much moving in the side. So I'm going to just check this to see if we've got the faint bite or white. It was a little bit heavier than last time, so I think there's fish on. Look 
Feels like fair weight on there. have something on top of the strips. I've been the office so far but we the more optimistic about it. More to come ladies and gentlemen. Right so I'm just going to show you what, what hooks I use actually because I haven't actually talked about the hooks much. The size 2 match hooks, little offset, help with the bite detect, help, helps it nail the bite to be fair. I've, I've, I've always seen them as good Good hooks to use to be honest, everyone's got their preference, Cox and Raw, you know, Aberdeen's, but I just, that's my go-to usually. Tony, Tony always sorts out a nice box of them for a, for a good price if you go in there, buy a few bits and bobs. I'm just going to chop this rag up into three, three little bits. Got this one tipped with a bit of squid just for a dogfish hopefully. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, it's absolutely fresh on the beach today. Many juices, look at all that juice, look at all that nice goodness coming out there. That's what we want out there in that water, ladies and gentlemen. Scent is key. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do a little bit of different. I'm going to put this little white in there. This little pin white I used earlier. I'm just going to put this. Just going to put it for a nose. There's little horns on it. And it's good. Just put your hook through. Why did you put the hook through? Like that. And then straight through his noggin. There we go, we've got a little just a little temptation for a conger or something, just in case one's the bat. Maybe a bass might take that. Just a little bit of experiment there. Just off the bat. That was completely off the bat. Not rehearsed whatsoever. We'll put the bottom of a double rag. Hopefully a flat he's down there. No doubt we'll get taken out by the pins, the pin whites. Yeah. Lots of catching fish, fish coming up. That's the main thing. Give her a go and see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen, with this. I want a bit more distance, so I'm going to try and give it a bit more welly. Always make sure before you cast, make sure your eyes are in line. Ow, that cost you, that could damage your rod. Lovely straight cast, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful rod. Love this rod. Probably about 100, 120 yards, I reckon, have gone on that. Let's see what we can get from that, ladies and gentlemen. Till next time.
out. Surprisingly big knots for a sm such a small fish. The ground pulling would say, say the fighting whiting. So many of these little buggers around. Great times to come out fishing, do a bit of shore fishing, first time anglers. Definitely, you're guaranteed to catch these suckers anytime. next time Jack, Jack, ladies and gentlemen fishing with Jack right just as we just just as me and Mr P were just saying that nice little knock on the old drink castle there I'm just gonna go and have a little thing on the door might be a dozen shorter now like I said earlier I made the mistake of snatching the rod out too early not letting the fish take the bait so I'm just gonna give it one more one more little dip Lovely calm day down here today. It's a bit fresh in the air. We don't want to be anywhere else on the beach. Another double shot of the old fighting white in that. And these, surprisingly, a bit small, they do get quite a bit bigger. Lovely fish, just like cod, from the same family as the cod. Well worth a eat, definitely. And they like to swallow the hooks whole, they do. He's going to be used as a bit of a lot, he's going to be used as a bit of a fish bait just so people don't think I'm being cruel. That's fish bait. This little guy, he wasn't too greedy. He took it nicely. Lovely. Back to the sea you go mate. And uh this should be uh, my first video on YouTube. So you lucky people on Facebook, I'll be putting a, putting a link in for my YouTube channel so you can have more, more fun times with Fishing With Jack. Thank you very much. Until the other catch, let's see what we can get with him. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we uh, have on the white head. See if anything took it. One thing this time of year, always important to have some gloves. It's bloody freezing.
Oh no, there's one white in and the white in head. Nice little pin. Perfect live bait size, absolutely perfect. And now I'm going to put this one back. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Reasonable size, not that little tiddler. Till next time.